Charon, I'm ready to hear about your lost souls. Oh, them. Not everyone in the underworld belongs here. These souls are lost. Their true resting place deserves to be found. You're the fairy one. You tell them where to go. That's not in my job description. Every soul arrives lost with unfinished business. Some are just more sympathetic than others. Who are these souls you want me to help? Most die, and I'll give them proper funeral rites, but some aren't so lucky. And the unlucky ones become lost? Oh yes. They are left to wander eternity, unaccepting of their fates. I'll help you, Ferryman. But where should I start? There's a soldier, an Athenian. He wished to die an honorable death in battle, but as he charged towards the enemy, he slipped in the dirt. And fell. Sounds like quite a warrior. He needs a glorious death to pass on to Elysium, but he cannot go to war without his weapon and armor. One is located in the restless necropolis, and the other is in the hands of the champion known as Swordfish. Swordfish? Of course he'd be here. I'll return the soldier's equipment and help him claim the death he seeks. This looks like the place. Come on. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. The restless necropolis. Sounds fun.
Armor doesn't look like much. I've got the Athenian sword and armor. Now I just have to return them to him. Always the same. A fellow warrior. Did death find you on the battlefield like it did me? I'll give you the glorious death you seek. I can't fight you unarmed. There's no honor in that. Lucky for you, I have your armor and weapon here. Get the hang of it. I joined the war to protect my home from the siege of Sparta. Tell me, did we save glorious Athens and its people?
Athens wasn't destroyed by Sparta, but by disease. A plague wiped out the city. I can still smell the burning flesh from the piles of dead. So, Athens is no more. We all died for nothing. Without Athens, without its people, what is there left to honor? It's time. Come, put an end to my suffering. Let's end this the right way. I'm ready to help another of your lost dead. My, my. Aren't you a productive little fleshling, hmm? Tell me, how did things go with the Athenian? I told him about the plague. Hmm. You chose to torture an already troubled soul. He loved Athens and its people. But he needed to know the truth. Ah, the plague. 
busy times. So busy, I lost someone. A woman whose family couldn't bear to bend the body. So she's stuck down here. She now wanders the halls of the passage of souls, still sick with plague. The Thanados pyre can purify the dead, but the only way she'd survive the ordeal is by consuming an asphodel flower. An asphodel flower? My little fleshling is in luck. Due to all the chaos you caused, there is a breach between the underworld and Elysium. You might find a flower there. What makes this asphodel flower so special? Everything from Elysium, that sickeningly perfect paradise, has some kind of boon. I'll get the flower and make sure she reaches the pyre. Be careful out there. Something as rare as an asphodel flower in this place will surely draw a great deal of attention. to stay out of sight. feels different here. Reminds me of Elysia. That's what I'm looking for. Testicles! It's nice to see you in a... One piece. Mistyos! Yes, I like it. Nothing trying to eat this place. What are you doing here? Came looking for a magic flower. Sounded so pretty. Wanted pretty flower oil. Have you seen it? I don't think anything pretty grows in a place like this. You're right. Testicles is the only pretty thing here. Right. Well, it was nice seeing you. No hug this time. Okay. Take care of yourself, Test, please. <laughs>
There she is. How can the dead bear it here? I've been sent to help you get better. Nothing can cure me. Even here, I'm cursed by this plague. Do you remember anything of your life before? I used to bake the best smelling bread. It's all like a dream that I can't quite see or touch. How did you get here? I remember being in my bed. I was sick. Everything went dark. Then I was by a river surrounded by people waiting to cross. Here, eat this flower. It will help you feel strong. I feel different. I feel better. But the plague is still with me. I will take you to a place where you can feel better. There is a fire that will cleanse you. A fire? Uh, are you sure it will help me? Won't it hurt? The flower you ate will protect you. If this is the only way, then I suppose I have to try. Am I cursed to be sick forever? of no heat.
Brought the woman to the pyre. Ah, I like having an assistant. If only you were dead, you could stay forever. Unfortunately, not my plan. Such is life. Hmm? And death. On to the next lost souls. A family devastated by war wanders without refuge. I know how it feels to lose a home. Yes, you all have sad stories to tell. At least most who come here are dead now. I think I would still be sad if I was dead. The suffering you fleshlings inflict on each other never ceases to astound me. And that's why we are helping all the lost we can. You're right. They deserve to have somewhere safe to stay. <laughs> Looks like someone is hiding over there. Please don't hurt us! Leave us alone! Stay back! I know how to fight. I'm not here to hurt you. Then what do you want? I've come to take you away from this place. Take you somewhere safe. Why would you help? I was asked to find you and take you to safety. We have no friends here. Only each other. But the hounds are drawing close, so what choice do we have? There has to be somewhere nearby where you'd be safe. There's a cave not too far from here that could provide some shelter. It didn't look very inviting, but it's better than here. Anywhere else? There was also an abandoned camp. It would be ideal if not for all the strange creatures in the area. It could be dangerous. We should go to the cave. Stay close. Ah! <laughs> 
need to hurry. We're too exposed out here. Holmes, stay behind me. Best to stay out of sight. Sisters of Vengeance, are you real? Ah! <laughs> 